Now we'll briefly cover network connectivity using host only networks. Again, um, to get to the host only network configuration, you go to File, File, Preferences, and then you click the network icon, and then you'll see two tabs. The first tab is for NAT networks, which we covered previously, which allow you to both inter network virtual machines on the same network as well as reach the internet if you want to through the host computer um, that will actually do the NAT for you and what we're interested in for this session is the host only adapter again host only adapter or host only networks or designed to interconnect virtual machines with one another without any outside connectivity so I like to think of host only networks as being a virtual switch that you can connect virtual machines to so you can take an interface on the virtual machine and connect it to this network and I will if you wanna this is the existing network that comes pre-configured whenever you install VirtualBox so if you click on the screwdriver you can see that the first network is 192.168.129 with a 24-bit mask which is configured and if you want you can actually see this interface whenever you look in your IP config on your host computer assuming it's a Windows based host you can use IP config and you can see this network that's actually created as an adapter so what we'll do for demonstration purposes we'll create a new one and you'll be prompted whenever you go to create it and it, click yes whenever you're prompted and it'll go ahead and create it after it's created you can go back to IP config and you'll be able to see that new adapter that we just added so you can see that now we have our second adapter with the address 192.168.87.1 and what we'll go ahead and do is just edit that to show you some of the settings that we can do and for demonstration purposes we'll pick 10.10.100.1 for the IP address of our adapter and we'll go into DHCP server which you know you probably want to create a DHCP server unless you want to use static IPs on your virtual machines that you connect to this host only network so we'll enable that server and we'll give the DHCP server a 10.10.100.2 IP address 24-bit mask to match our network and lastly you give it a start and end address for the DHCP IP addresses that it'll hand out to virtual machines that connect to the host only network so arbitrarily I'll just pick a range that's not in use so I'll start at 10.10.100.100 and we will put the end at 10.10.100.110 since we've only got two hosts I just give it I'll just allocate 10 here actually 11 but here we go you click OK and once again whenever you click OK to close it out you'll be prompted to accept the changes so you'll just click yes and it'll go ahead and create it and then what you do you go to your first virtual machine that you want to boot up and you go to your settings for that virtual machine click on your network and you can see here I've got three adapters that are not connected to anything and I'll just use the first adapter enable the adapter and go to attach to menu and we'll basically set it to a, a host only adapter host only adapter is what you need to select if you want to connect it to a host only network so that's what we uh, select there and for the name you see we've got two options here we've got host only ethernet adapter and host only ethernet adapter number two number two is the one we just created with the 10.10.100.0 subnet so I will enable that and click OK so now when we boot up our VM here it will have an interface connected to the host only network now that we've got our network adapter connected to the host only network we'll go ahead and start up the VM and once the VM is booted go ahead and log in and once you're booted into Ubuntu go ahead and open a terminal and what we'll do is we will validate our IP addresses for the network that was connected to the host only network IP link command and we can see our two interfaces the second interface is the one we'll have connected to our host only network use the IP adder command and you can see that we have an IP address 
allocated to ourselves with 10.10.100.100, which was the first IP address we had allocated in our DHCP scope. And briefly, we'll just look at the IP route. And you can see we've got two routes, and there's no default route. So if we try to, we have no default route for anything outside of these networks. So if we try to ping google.com, unknown host, we won't be able to get DNS, and we won't be able to have even a route for it. So there we go. But it shows that we've booted up, and our NIC is in this host-only network. And next, for demonstration purposes, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make sure our second VM is configured on the host only network and we'll go ahead and boot him up. So we want to connect him to that same network that our first VM is connected to. So I verify that these three adapters are not connected and the first adapter for this second VM, which is a non GUI Ubuntu VM, we will select host only adapter so that we can connect it to the host only network and make sure that it's connected to that same host only network and click OK and we will boot this second VM and give it time to boot. When the second VM is done booting go ahead and log in and use the IP adder command to verify that our interface is now connected to that same host only network and we're assigned an IP address of 10.10 .100.101, which is what we ex expected. It's the second address that we had allocated in that subnet. And what I'll do is go back to the previous VM and demonstrate how we now have connectivity to the other host. So again, IP adder here. We've got 10.10.100.100 for this host and the other IP address was 10.10.100.101. So we'll demonstrate that we can ping one another. And that is the basics of host only networking. These two VMs now have connectivity to one another through a private network.